talking about social cognitive theory today. And we're going to focus on the three big assumptions of social cognitive theory that you can find in your book in Module 10. The first assumption is that learning can occur by observing others. Um, so, simply put, individuals observe others' experience in order to learn new behaviors. Um, the second thing is that learning may or may not include a behavior change. So, they might gain knowledge, but not actually have to perform these new behaviors. And um, throughout the exercise, uh, keep in mind these things and think about how um, the ideas of social cognitive theory might be impacting um, the behavior that is listed on whichever card you have. So read what you have on your cards, and then just like Adam said, we're going to try to fully commit to what's on your card. All right. Okay. So here we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to music class. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work on some rhythm exercises, all right? So what I need you to do is I'm going to clap, and you guys have to clap right back at me, all right? So the same rhythm. What did you say? I said what I need to do okay. is that I'm going to count it. All right, here we go. Let's try it, everybody. Here we go. Ready? So. Right after me, right after me, right after me. So. Why are we doing this? We're learning rhythms. Here we go. Keep trying. If people around you are not getting it, try to help them, please. I can't hear you. Can you try to help Jake a little bit more? Try. Okay, here we go. Everybody, try to help who's around you, all right? There you go. Let's try a different one. We'll try a different rhythm, all right? There we go. Very good. Let's keep going. Try to keep helping the people around you. Can we Well, I think Andy, you won't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andy, why don't you come on up here? Uh, so what we're going to do, Andy, why don't you come up here? We're going to have you model for the rest of the class, all right? All right. <laughs> so everybody just watch how Andy follows me, all right? Very good, very, very good. Thank you, Eddie. You can go sit down. Thank you for modeling for us, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Let's try one more time, all right? Now everybody, you see now you 
have to do it. You can do it. Now. Do it. <laughs> you see how you have to do it. Everybody try to do it that way, all right? Here we go. So, if you couldn't tell, there were two different cards that you had. Some of you were the student who always pays attention and watches everything and listens to everything that the teacher says, um, tries to help out with other students, and the other card was, um, you're not going to listen at all, you don't pay any attention, and you don't listen to your classmates when they try to help you. So, um, we're going to have a little discussion now from the class on how some of these things might relate to social cognitive theory. So, if anybody has any ideas. Well, first of all, that was like a blast from the past. That was just like <laughs> elementary school. Um, and I also realized, like, I got the card of being the quiet and quiet person who listens to everything and I was supposed to help others, but I realized that just like in elementary school, I felt too shy to like turn around and talk to you to help you. So that was like personal character characteristics. Thing. Yeah, that, that's a really yep. good point. Some yep. people, even if they are succeeding pretty well in the classroom, they might be really shy to show that to another student. Um, yeah, any other things? See, I had the same card and then I was trying to help somebody because I'm, I'm a talkative person, so I'm trying to help him, and then he's not really listening, so then I'm not paying attention at the same time. So it's, it's kind of a negative situation for both because I'm trying to do listen and then then trying to help him at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. And, uh, sorry, yeah. Um, you could learn the rhythms without actually clapping them. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you could know how to do it, but not. Yeah, and that goes through the thing of that. Yeah, that goes to the second one of how you can actually gain knowledge, but by not actually performing the new behavior. So you're still understanding what's going on, but you're not doing it. Right. So some of the people who didn't participate at all, they learned the same thing, but they just didn't feel like doing it in class. Um, on the opposite level, his action made me kind of not want to do mine. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so um, the big ideas from this is just our three main assumptions that your learning can occur just by observing other people. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to include a behavior change, and everyone is going to bring their own personal characteristics that are important to their own learning. Thank you. Yeah.